Hello everyone and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see one of the coolest feature of MuleSoft AnyPoint platform and the feature name is Connected Apps. So before we move on, please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you can get the notification of such amazing videos. So before we move on, let me introduce you myself. I am Mohammad Akib, a MuleSoft certified developer and architect. So let's understand the connected apps feature. The connected apps feature enables the external systems to integrate with any point platform using APIs through auth and open ID connect. This feature also helps to delegate their access without sharing sensitive details or credentials. It also helps to secure authentication protocol and control an app's access to user data. Now let's move on and see this whole picture into practical. We will see through an example. So once we are here in any point platform website and you can access this link using anypoint.mulesoft.com. Give the username and password and click sign in. Once we have signed in, you can come the uh, log. Uh, you can come over here and click Access Management. And from the Access Management, on the left sidebar, we can see different links, and one of them is Connected Apps. You can click over here. Now we can see whatever the applications we have created previously those will be visible over here so previously i have only created one application that is my connected apps now let's see how you can create your own app that could be helpful to externalize your endpoint platform apis like click uh, click here like create app and give it in give it a name like uh, bytes now we can select type we have two different types one of them is the app acts on behalf of a user or app acts on its own behalf so for now we will click here the app will uh, like behave on its own behalf okay and over here we can assign some of the permissions some of the scopes we can add so let's see what scope we would need to add or in this video you will see a few scopes that you can add to externalize your apis so i will show you how you can access the environment so you will need the access to view the environment also you will need access to view organization and applications However, we have different permissions or different scopes that you can add like delete, delete application, create application, download application, but we are only providing the access to read the data. Okay, now click next and select the business group. It should be integration bytes for me. Select the environment, which environments do we want to give the permission or we want to add these scopes. Click here click design and sandbox path review okay we are going to read applications we are going to view environment we are going to view organization and this all we are going to do it through apis click add scope and click save now you should see that a new application has been created this is integration bytes app and just notice that you have a couple of buttons over here like copy id and copy secret these will be really helpful when we are going to call the apis so let's move on and open the rest client application it could be postman or advanced rest client or any other rest client of your own choice now once we have opened the rest client and in my case i am using postman we have an api to get the token so very first thing we will need is token it could be bearer token it will require to access your apis to get application data to environment data and to get organization data 
whatever axis we have given previously so let's see what we need in the body you don't need to worry about these apis i will tell in the end of the video that from where you can get this api collection and there are a lot more apis than only three so uh, you can see that we need here the client id client secret and the grant type will be client credentials as we saw previously when we created the client apps so how you can get client id and secret you can go over here and copy id you can paste here let's go back and copy the secret over here we have got the secret now click send button and you should receive the bearer token or access token now you can copy this token and go back or go to the other api it should be getting the organization or environment information and for this we need organization id so from where we will get organization id let me show you so our organization here click integration bytes and there you can see the organization id you can click this uh, like you can copy this organization id and uh, paste over here okay now let's see the authorization we need to pass the bearer token authorization since we have got the token already we can copy this token and pass it over here and hit uh, just we need to hit the send button now you see that we have got organization details now if we remove this endpoint hierarchy from the url and click send we should get the environment details as well you can see over here we have got two environment one of them was design and the other one was sandbox and we have got a lot more information that we can read over here all right so you see that we have got the environment details now let's see what we can get or what we can have to get the application details so we have got this api like cloud hub api v2 applications in the header we see what we need to pass we need to pass environment id authorization which should be bearer token and organization id we can go uh, we can get these details from here like we can get this token just copy or also it, it is the same one that we got uh, generated from the token url and uh, like over here bearer and the token now let's copy the organization id and just over here and let's move on and see what environment we want to access like the application should be related to design environment or sandbox environment we can copy the id of that particular environment and paste over here now these uh, properties or these headers we need to pass in the request let's click the send button and see what happens there you go we have got the response that I have got an application deployed which is having the name integration by CICD demo okay let's see if we really have this application deployed or not okay let's go to runtime manager Okay, the page is loading so it is still loading meanwhile we can see what details we have got in the API okay the status is started worker details amount mule version so on okay let's see the application yes I want to see the sandbox environment and in sandbox environment i have got this application integration by cicd demo which you can see or verify from here 
all right so uh, where else we can use this information or these apis like if you want to implement the cicd uh, pipelines you, through maven you also need to you expose the apis you need the connected apps uh, permissions like scope client id secret these sort of things because you are exposing the uh, control to jenkins to start your environment deployment and uh, starting the application stopping the application so on this is one of the best example that we can have today now let's see from where you can get this details uh, like these apis okay let me show you so in the browser search for access management apis for mulesoft and very first link you should see access management api and in exchange you will have all the details like these are all the apis for like you can see uh, to access the token client client connected applications all the all the apis you can find from here like organization environment or whatever the api you want to access just like this all right and go back here and you can find from here other apis as well like cloud hub apis so that's end of the video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you can get such amazing videos on regular basis